Hey everybody, I'm Ken with Mid-Level Media back here today for another thrifting vlog, part nine in my thrifting vlog series. I'm gonna see what I can go out and find today in the Goodwills, in the flea markets. I'm, I'm gonna go to a couple of Goodwills, then I'm going to go to that thrifting peddler's mall store that's right across the street from my house. Hopefully I will find some cool Blu-rays, cool DVDs, maybe some video games for cheap. I don't know, it would be interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm parked outside of a Goodwill that I've never been to before. It's close to the Best Buy that I usually go to. So yeah, I'm gonna go in there, check it out. Hopefully they've got uh, some good stuff. Let's do it. All right, guys, it's time for some Goodwill hunting. What are we gonna find? Into the first Goodwill. We go. Alright everybody, so I just got out of the Goodwill and I'm going to show you a couple of the interesting titles that I got. They actually had a, a lot of really good stuff in there. I was hoping because this is a kind of a nicer area that I might get some more Blu-rays. I don't know. Um, I was just hoping for that because I've seen people go to Goodwills um, and find like whole sections of Blu-ray and I just wish I could do that. Uh, but I did get interesting titles here. I found a Kino Lorber DVD of Running Scared with uh, Billy Crystal and G Gregory Hines. So I've never seen this movie before. I've seen the one with Paul Walker that came out in like 2006. Uh, but yeah, this is a cool title, a cool find in there that I found for only a buck. So apparently the DVDs are only a dollar now because uh, the last few times that I've been to a Goodwill, they've only been a buck. So um, yeah, open up. You got that classic Kino Lorber disc on the inside. So an interesting find for sure. And the next one that I got is uh, a movie that hadn't been opened yet, and this is Amy. This is the documentary on Amy Winehouse. And I got this because it's an A24 film, and I do want to see, like, every A24 film at some point. I've seen a lot, um, and I want to own them all in my collection. So even though it's DVD, I went ahead and grabbed it because it had never been opened, and uh, it's an A24 film. So a couple of cool finds in that Goodwill, guys. So... Uh, let's go ahead and now head on to the next Goodwill. Now we arrive at our second Goodwill. Let's do it.
right guys, so nothing in there to really get too excited about. Actually, the section kind of shrunk down quite a bit from the last time I was in there, and that's the Goodwill that's closest to my house that I usually um, sometimes uh, find some pretty good stuff in. So uh, there was that Starsky and Hutch, the DVD of that that was still wrapped. Uh, they had Orange County that was still in the plastic, so I almost thought about picking those up because they're two comedies that I really enjoy that I don't have in my collection. But um, Starsky and Hutch had like a nick on the side of it, and uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just went ahead and <laughs> didn't uh, uh, decided not to pick those two up. But um, I am on my way to the um, thrifting pawn shop, flea markets, all of the above uh, next to my house. So see you when we get there. All right, here we go to the Vendor City Fleet Market. Hopefully they got some new stuff.
guys, so just got out of the Vendor City Flea Market. There's actually a lot in there. It's almost overwhelming uh, how many sections of DVDs and Blu-rays and VHS tapes are in there every single time I go in. I never check everything out because um, I, I would be in there for like two hours if I did. But uh, that one section was huge. They had DVDs everywhere. I think they um, actually, maybe my public library might have uh, sent them over to the flea market um, because there was a lot of those with the, the library uh, stickers on it. But um, I did find this over in that section, but it didn't have a library sticker on it because I'm not going to get those for my collection. I'm, I'm weird like that. I don't want like stickers and stuff on my um, on my DVDs and Blu-rays. But um, I got Dune. Uh, the David Lynch film on DVD for only a dollar. It's in really good condition, and I've thought about picking this up for a while because I do want to give it a watch, especially before the uh, Denis Villeneuve film comes out, hopefully this year. Um, so yeah, definitely going to give this one a watch, and I have uh, expanded my David Lynch collection. So I think I have almost all of his films um, in my collection in one way, uh, shape, or another. So, um, that does it today, guys, for my thrifting vlog. Picked up three DVDs, so not a great haul, but I did have fun going out and checking out what was in all the stores. I hope you guys did too. Uh, please like this video if you can. I would definitely appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel. This is your first time uh, discovering me here on the Mid-Level Media channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, for more great physical media, movie-based content. In the future, turn on all bell notifications for future videos. Also, comment down below um, what you like that, that you saw in stores, uh, what has been some of your more recent thrifting finds. Leave all that in the comments below and also call out anything that I may have missed. I always love it when you guys do that because uh, it inspires me to go back and look for it. I've, I've, I've found a, quite a few stuff uh, with you guys pointing it out to me rather than me finding it myself. So I definitely appreciate it if you leave some finds in the comments below. But yeah, guys, appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.